Hello friends. Welcome to Summer Sweet Shop Cutter Central. Um, a lot of times people ask me, I get this question a lot of how many cookie cutters do I own? Um, a lot. So, um, I just thought with the new year, I know everybody's organizing all their spaces, their pantries, their closets, um, and I am here for that. But I thought something that you guys would like to see is how I organize my cookie cutters and how I keep them um, in an orderly fashion. So I'm gonna show you how I do that today. So um, first off, um, and I'm gonna have a blog post about this as well, and hopefully that will go live either today or tomorrow. Um, I finished it, I just have to add pictures to it. Um, which is what I will be doing today. So I, as you can see, sorry for this mess up here. My husband's computer is doing crazy things, but I usually have this all clean. Ignore my um, frumpiness, but just had these. These were just demos that I used for my um, Christmas classes. I just haven't gotten rid of them. I need to update them and throw them away because they're hard as a rock. Um, but need to just get rid of them. Um, and just some other miscellaneous school stuff up there. But this is what I, how I organize my cutters. So as you can see, I have things labeled. So I was not able, my label maker was not working yesterday and I had to add a few labels. Um, but you see, I have shapes this one is school supplies or school so it's got like a bus in there an apple i'm going to pull these out and show you exactly what's in them but i'm just doing kind of an overview right now and then we're going to deep dive and i'm going to show you how um what i do after i use a cookie cutter like where i put it and then when i put it away and things like that um valentine's day um and Valentine's Day, I don't put like far, far away because hearts, um, you use that a lot of times during the year um, and things like that. So it kind of stays near, unlike Christmas, Christmas, you're not using trees and Santa Clauses and reindeers and stuff very much. So it kind of stays away. But I have the um, Valentine's Day there. Um, spring, this also has Easter in it. I'm probably going to need to get a bigger bin for it because it's kind of um, it's pretty tight in there. Um, fruit and flowers. So this has any like flower cutters, anything that's a fruit, bananas, strawberries, things like that. Winter and camping does not have a ton in it. Again, I'm going to pull these out in a minute and show you guys. Um, and these are um, shoe boxes that are from the container store. I will link these um, in um, a highlight and you can um, get these. They are super, super cheap, like two or dollars maybe, probably on sale right now because of the new year. Um, but they were fantastic, love them, and they work great for um, not only for shoes, but for cookie cutters. Um, next we have wedding. So this is anything like wedding dresses, um, anything that I use, like it has like a Mr. and Mrs., the wedding ring, all of that is in there. Birthday, which is like cakes and um, things that I use for um, like a number one or um, birthdays. Um, this top one is baby. That one is a pretty big one. And the numbers, I have this thing about always buying like the wrong size numbers. So I have a lot of number cutters, um, just, you know, one, two, three, four, five, whatever. Um, sports and constructions and summer and graduation. And I'm going to talk about combining how I have like the flowers and the fruit combined and sports and construction. Um, so first things first, what you want to do, and then I have some more done here is, um, oh, well, let me, let me finish that. I have all my sweet sugar bell ones are all here. I almost can always tell you, like, if you're like, Hey, do you have a party hat? I'm like, yes, I do. I know it's a sweet sugar bell. That's like all of hers are in here. And then these are all the minis. I have, clearly have a problem with minis. I bought her mini set and I just put them all um, there plus others that I just love. I just keep that in there for design inspo. Um, this one is Fiesta and Cowboy. Animals are kind of out of control. The um, animals, you see unicorns, 
llamas, bears. A lot of these have been metal um, and, and Clark ones. Um, I don't use a ton, a ton of animals. And then Disney and characters. Um, I don't have a ton of those because um, I do not do character cookies really anymore. Um, but any of like my Mickey stuff I have in there or the mouse I should say um and then this has all sweet sugar bell I keep all of her stencils even though I rarely use them I keep all of the stencils and everything especially if I'm teaching a class um it's great to have all of that and they are all in there um my husband showed me the other day how much I spent on cookie cutters last year and um it's embarrassing so, but I mean, it's my job, it's what I do. Okay, so over here on this side, and this is just like a big buffet that we have in our breakfast area. You can use this in a closet um, or whatever else, but this is um, where I have them just because they're easy access to the kitchen that I can get to them. Um, and so down here, I started um, yesterday, I organized these into a bigger bin. This is all of my Christmas. Um, well, these are all plaques. You can see a lot of Kaleidicuts here. Um, these are all plaques. Um, so plaques are just like a shape. Like here's your Nancy plaque, um, a round shape. I've had these like forever and I don't even, I got them from a store in Cincinnati. Um, but they're like biscuit cutters, but they're like the perfect round shape and they don't hurt your hand. Um, but like squares, the um, Charlotte plaque I use, this one I use, I don't remember the name of it. This one I just got, I haven't used yet. So different things are all, um, all of my plaques um, are in there. Other shapes like, um, oops, all of my shapes like stars and stuff I have over there in the shapes. But here's Christmas. Um, and I just put all of it in here. A lot of it's Sweet Sugar Bell. Um, a lot of it is fairly new and I typically what I do at Christmas time is I go through it and I say, okay, what am I using the most of? Like what things am I selling? Um, whether it be minis or whether it be like, I know I used the reindeer a ton. I used, um, the Santa Claus a ton. I did not use like this present this year. So I just put those away in a different box and kept these all out because I did Christmas cookies all throughout the month of December. But once Christmas is done, I put them in this box and I put them on the side, on this side here that I'm not in very often. Um, so once my label maker is working again, I may have to get a new one. Um, I'll put a label here that'll say Christmas and then I have Halloween and then fall. I realized yesterday that I needed a new thing for fall because I've become a fall addict as well. So from caramel apples to um, pumpkin mugs, you name it, it's all in it. Okay, so that's how I categorize them. If you're starting from scratch and you're like, how am I gonna do this? Again, I'm gonna have this on a blog post, but I'm gonna show you how to do this today. So these are, one of these boxes down here are cutters that are like way too big that I don't like that I never want to use again, like My Little Pony. Um, I paid way too much money just to like throw them away, but um, probably like $50 for the whole set. And so, but I am never making My Little Pony cookies ever again. So don't ask. Um, and then these are for girls, girls stuff like in Boho. And this is like boy stuff. So like a truck and things. I just don't have those labeled. Um, but what I do is after I have pulled my cutters, I make my cutters, my cookies that day. I have a tray like this that I keep right here. And these are all the cutters that need to be sorted and put away. So what I'll do about once a week, um, and these are the boxes. Matt got these at Costco the other day and I totally hijacked them for cookies. So I'm gonna have to go back and get more for him. Um, but I'm gonna set this up and show you guys on the tripod here. I'm going to show you what you need to do to organize your cutters. Okay, so first off, what you want to do is you want to take all your cutters that you got, and if you're starting from scratch, start from scratch. But what I do is I start pulling out cutters, and I'm like, okay, I've got, this is like unicorn, so that's like girly. Um... I've got numbers, baby, baby, 
tutu. It's going to be girly. This is um, a llama float. So it's um, summertime. I've got bows, wedding. I'm going to start another category over here for wedding, if you can see that. Got my numbers. Spread this all out. Um, this is like a baptism dress. I kind of keep baptism and wedding kind of in the same just because you're, I don't know. I just do. Sometimes I keep them in spring, but spring kind of overflowed um, because like a cross you'll use a lot of times for baptism and things like that. And then um, birthday cutter. Um, this is a wine bottle that's kind of girly, baby. Um, another number one. We're going to count this as a birthday because it's a birthday number one. Um, this says Mr. and Mrs. Another baby item. So what I do then, and that's not even everything that's in this box, but I just want to show you guys for example. So what I'm going to do is that, so I sort these out by category. So I've got baby here. I got this. So you're going to sort all your cutters into different categories. And so try and do, I would do no more starting out than 10 to 15 categories, depending on how many boxes you have and how much you want to um, organize it. So I've got all these cutters and I'm going to pull from over here. I'm going to pull um, the boxes that go with that. So I've got wedding here. So let me pull my wedding box and I'm going to go right here. I'm going to open it up and it's got cake. It's got the hearts. Some of these can like double like Valentine's Day. It doubles another ring crowns crowns a lot of times i will keep with girly stuff just because that's another girly item um so i'm not sure no, i don't know why i have two silly but you know such is life um like i have two wedding cakes yeah yep yeah, such is life okay so i'm gonna dump all of those in there and i'm done with that all right put it back all right let's pull baby so now I've got my baby shoebox here. So I've got the baby. I've got a million onesie cutters. How many onesie cutters can you have? I mean, really? Oh, wait, I forgot one. Ha. Huh. Okay, on this, always on the hunt for more. All from all different places. I don't have a favorite. They're all favorite. So, baby, done. All right, got it in there. Alright, so now, uh, numbers. So here are all number cutters. I have no idea where I got these blue cutters from. I've had them for a million years. Um, but I'm going to put them back in here. The one I'm going to hold out, because I usually do, I do that one for like first birthdays and stuff. Yes, these are birthday ones, but um, sometimes I put the one in there. Sometimes I don't. I don't know. I just He's not fitting in there really good today. He's probably one of the most used cutters I have. Um, but he is in there. Oh, this these are the ones from the container store. I think the other ones are from um, Target. But these are from the container store that are super affordable and fantastic, fantastic to use. Um, and then let's do like sports and construction. So you'll have those ones. Um, where you do like your sports parties or you'll do like a construction theme. So you're not using them a whole, whole ton. Um, but you want to have them like your jersey, your pennant. Um, but things that like I've, oh, I was looking for this yesterday. Glad I found it. Um, hammer, construction, more construction stuff. And so I just have it all together. It's kind of boyish. Um, but big old power T, go Vols. Um, helmets, things like that that are in here. And it's nice, like, if you're doing this for the first time and you're trying to organize, is to get rid of cutters that you don't use. I try and do that, uh, I mean, not even once a year, but just periodically of ones that, like, when I'm going through and I'm like, oh, I have two helmets. I know I have another helmet. I have two helmets in here. I like this red helmet way better than I do this blue one. I really should just get rid of this one why I don't, I don't know. Um, I have two cones. I hate this cookie cutter, but I have this one from Bobby's that I love. I need to get rid of this one. So I'm keeping it out. I'm getting rid of it. So, um, anywho, that is how
how I organize all of my cutters um, and keep them. And so then 